I believe the federal government has become oppressive. I believe it's become oppressive in its size, its intrusion in the lives of well, the House of Representatives has voted to pass the historic energy and climate control bill. A clear majority of Americans opposed to the idea of more government aid to help bail out failing auto companies, even if it means that some might go bankrupt. Ailing U.S. automakers have submitted rescue plans asking for a bigger than expected chunk of federal aid, bigger by billions. General it's the latest effort of a very aggressive uh, action that we've taken to fill the gap that's been left by the federal government's ongoing failure to adequately secure our international border with Mexico. Today marks the beginning of a controversial program in Texas. It's called the Transfer and Exit Program, and it moves more than 34,000 illegal aliens per year through Presidio. Just outpouring of anger yet against the new administration. No more no more At one point, the crowd filled all of Pennsylvania Avenue from the White House to the Capitol. The yeas are 220, the nays are 215. The bill is passed. Texas is a unique place. Uh, when we came in the Union in 1845, uh, one of the uh, issues was that we would be able to, to leave if uh, we decided to do that. Uh, economic financial collapse. I mean, what we've just experienced, I mean, that's, 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 that's the opening act. You say guns, guns will be taken, no one will be able to be armed. We're going to take off. How big has the national debt become? It's so big it's threatening to outgrow. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody.